hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you have not yet be sure to subscribe you can also hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified every single time i upload a new video now today's video i am reviewing february's box of glow addict so this is a monthly subscription where this box in particular you pay $18.99 a month and you get five to seven full size items now i did try out all the items i am doing a little tutorial on my eyeshadow as well as you guys can see what i got going on right here so if you guys are interested to seeing what I think of this month's box, be sure to stay tuned. Suavemente. Suavemente. So here we go. This is the February Glow Addict box and this is what the inside looks like. It comes in this gold packaging and inside are the five items that you receive. Now just to remind you guys that everybody receives the exact same box if you purchase this one specifically. I am on their website right now on my phone so I can pull up all the information for you guys. So this box specifically if you want to subscribe to it, it does cost $18.99 a month and then I did receive five full size items with different brands. I see some brands that I actually use so I'm a little excited. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first item that we have right here is called the 3D Massager. Um, it promotes skin tightening, body shaping, and promotes the blood circulation. But the only thing is that I'm looking at this packaging and it does not have a brand in sight. I do not know what this brand or who made this or what but let's open it up oh i'm looking at the back okay so you can use it for your face you can use it for your neck you can use it for your body you can use it everywhere you want okay okay and this is what the product itself looks like it's actually very lightweight and then it does have these like circular things right here that they kind of rotate as you guys can see okay so the instructions are in the back it says from the bottom to the top of your mouth uh you're gonna roll it along your facial line and then you can Use it to tighten common areas like the mouth, the cheek, and the facial skin. And then you guys see this little black like oval right here. It says that it's a solar plate so it can connect the energy from the sun. Let's go ahead and give it a try because I've seen people use these kind of methods before. But I personally never used it before so let's go. Like it says from the bottom to the top. <laughs> you guys can see all my fat. So like that. I'm assuming, right? Okay, this is definitely something that I'm going to have to continue using in order for me to give you guys like a real review if it even works or not. But I mean, I, I think this is how it is, right? <laughs> I mean, I do feel it like hugging my jawline right here and I would see how it works. Now let's move on to the next item. I have this scar gel right here from Derma E. Have I tried Derma E? I don't think so. This is going to be my first time. How exciting. So this is what the packaging looks like and then when you open it up, what it looks like it's nice and clear it doesn't have like a little scent a little minty scent i want to say so how you use this is that you scoop a small amount gently massage it into your skin for new scars apply two to three times a day for eight weeks and then for older scars you apply it twice a day for three to six months and this one the reason why i'm so excited for is because you guys already know that i have this scar right here i had something removed um a few months ago and it's on my neck it's visible and i am definitely gonna put this to the test i'm gonna add a little bit right now and um i'm gonna continue on using this for sure because I, I am trying to get rid of that ugly scar. And I will definitely give you guys some feedback on how this works. The consistency on it is not like too thick or too thin. It's like perfect. So a ver, entre más tiempo, the more that I use it, then I will be able to see the difference. But for sure, I'm going to keep using this. And I will keep you guys updated on how this scar gel works. Another item that I did receive in my box was this set of brushes. The brand is called Celavi. This is what the whole set looks like. And here's the full set of all the brushes. It does include a flat eyeshadow brush, a dense eyeshadow brush, an eyeliner brush, a dual bro combo brush, precision brush, and a flat liner brush. The only thing missing in this combo right here is definitely a blending brush. I don't see anything that I can use for eyeshadow as far as like blending out, but we're gonna give it a go because I see these two flat brushes that I can probably make it work. Along with that, I did receive this little quad palette from Illuminati. And this is a color story for the quad. You know what's crazy? Most people don't like quad palettes. They are too simple, but for me, it just makes it so much easier to create an eyeshadow look. So I'm actually gonna make the most out of this little quad. So I'm gonna be using these shades to create something for the month of February because it is the month of love. So let's do a little Valentine's Day look. I'm gonna begin with a flat liner brush i am gonna take a little bit of concealer to this because i need to conceal my eyes 
So let's go ahead and start right there. I'm gonna just swatch them out real quick so you guys can see these four shades. I mean, there's only four, so it's not like it's too much. But here are what these eyeshadows are looking like. There's one matte and three shimmers and we're definitely gonna be able to do a look out of this the shimmers do seem a little bit chunky but they're nice they're nice i am gonna begin with this hot pink shade right here i'm gonna tap that right in the front part right here i kind of want to make something that like goes from pink to purple that was very easy to place to be honest these kind of eyeshadows have never given me a problem i used like i said illuminati before Never had a problem with them. I actually really, really enjoyed them. I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit because I'm gonna pick up one of the shimmers. I'm gonna take this one right here and I'm gonna place it right over that hot pink. I'm gonna go in with the dense eyeshadow brush. Let's take this one right here and put it right after those two shades and just try to blend everything in. I'm gonna basically make a full on, oh my God, girl, that fall out, hold up. Good thing I was not wearing any foundation. Yeah, you see, like, I can place these eyeshadows right with these brushes, pero necesito algo. So I'm going to use this clean blending brush because I do need it to blend in those two shades together. Or so you know, it's going to be some harsh lines and we don't want that. You know what? Let me go ahead and try it with my finger because I feel like the brushes aren't gripping the eyeshadow enough. And, like, when I place it with my finger, that's when the shimmers pop up. Let me grab the other shimmer with my finger as well. You see, it's more pigmented when I grab it with my finger. I think it's just the brushes that are having a little bit of a hard time picking it up. And then with this one, I could just easily blend them in together. Let's go ahead and just take this shade right here just to finish off the look. Lo voy a poner acá atrás. And again, it's just not working out. I am gonna go in with my blending brush. I'm gonna pick up that shade and just use it all across and kind of smoke it out because that's the look that i'm going for girl i'm gonna have a whole ass purple face <laughs> by the end of this video porque todo se me está cayendo you know what i think i'm gonna put that little shimmer all across i'm gonna do my other eye and the rest of my makeup off camera and then we'll come back with the last and final item okay girl i am back and this is the full face of makeup that i got going on right here so far i am absolutely loving the eyeshadow girl that shit is like Mm, it's pretty so let's do the last and final step which is the lippy and i got a very very cute one from cara beauty and i've actually tried for myself cara beauty i've tried their eyeshadow palettes and their lashes absolutely love them so i expect nothing less from this lippy right here and we got the shade darling which is this very pretty i don't know if it's gloss or it's matte let me swatch it to the back of my hand oh it's peachy that thing is pigmented girl that's what she looks like. Very, very pretty. And it it is matte. Okay, before I apply it, I am going to outline my lips with something a little bit more deeper. Just so this tone is able to combine nicely with my eyeshadow. Because we got pinks, we got purples. And then to add a little pop of orange, como que no. So let's go ahead and outline my lips. I'm going to use the Morphe Lip Pencil in Trendsetter. Add a little bit to the outer corner so you can give it a nice little blend. Because I do overline my lips as you guys can see. Now let's go ahead and add this gorgeous shade right in the center of my lips. Oh girl. That is coral. Okay, I actually really like this shade. I like the texture of it. I like the formula. Very, very nice. I just don't know if I would have matched these two in one box okay let's let it dry down because i want to see how it looks like when it dries down oh my god girl <gasps> you know nothing happens to it it immediately dried wow all right i'm a little shook here we go here is the final look and i actually really really like how it came out like even though the lips are coral and i got a little bit of pink and purple on my eyes it works and it looks so good. Let's go ahead and review these products so I can tell you guys what I think. Let's start off with this 3D massager now, girl. It felt really good. It glided onto my skin. It like held it up as I was going. 
The only thing is like I am not going to be able to tell you if it works or if it functions. I have to test it out for a long term. I want to say a few months and, and see just basically like the befores and after and see how well it actually lifted and tightened up my skin. I did think that it was a cool aspect of adding this little nodule right here, taking that out to the sun, have it sun activated. I've never seen that before. Another thing that I'm going to have to give some more time is this scar gel from Derma E. I have no idea how well it works because this is my first time applying it. So like I said, I would have to give it a few months to see, you know, if I see an improvement on my scar. As far as texture wise, I did enjoy it. The smell wasn't too overbearing. So I truly did enjoy this one. I will keep you guys up to date on my Instagram on how well my scar is, you know, healing. Now let's talk about these brushes right here. I got this seven piece brush set. Honestly, they weren't my favorite. I didn't get to try all of them, but from what I did try, I didn't want to continue on and try them further. I felt like they lacked a lot of um, performance as compared to other brushes. Now, I felt like they took away the performance of this eyeshadow palette right here. Like I said, I have tried Illuminati quads before. I tried their matte ones and they worked absolutely phenomenal. Um, this time I tried out, it was their shimmers and I felt like it had a lot of problems, you know, especially when it came to these brushes. It, I had a hard time. The easiest way that I was able to manage to put this eyeshadow on was with my Morphe brushes or just using my finger to glide on the shimmer. Other than that, this eyeshadow palette worked phenomenal. You guys see my eyeshadow. I really, really like the outcome of it so big thumbs up to this one and last but definitely not least the Cara Beauty Lippy this one was my absolute favorite from the whole box I really enjoyed it I like the formula on it I felt like it was nice and thin it wasn't too like sticky it dried up matte it's not like transferring whatsoever you guys can see when I was like rubbing it on the back of my hand it's still there truly pigmented true to color too because you guys can compare it side by side and it looks exactly the same as it does on the tube but yeah guys these are my final thoughts on the February Glow Addict box. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this review and if you did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!